This video is going to be about how to make a media player in Bootstrap Studio. Okay, so what I would um, suggest you do is make up a folder of where your exported Bootstrap Studio files will go to. Mine's just called Media Player. And what I have in there is an MP3 file and also a JPEG, okay? So that should go into the same file as your Bootstrap Studio anyway. So create a new design as always okay and i'm going to do um at the top there one row one column all right okay and this is uh the, you probably said of the html5 media players i'm only going to do a basic one um if anybody's interested we can i can do uh, a more advanced one because you can do quite advanced ones with html5 okay so we just convert to HTML and edit code. Okay. So in there, we've got the column and we're just going to go down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put in audio. Okay. And another tag closing tag audio the closing tag okay and here we're going to put in another tag called source yeah okay i'm going to put src equals speech marks and we're going to close that one all right so in audio what we do is to get these things is you put something called controls okay controls equal speech marks i mean i'm not going to put in controls there um again as i say this is just going to be a basic one so if you're interested in this just to get you off the ground a bit okay um, with source okay the file that um, uh, that are named you know, I can't even remember the file I named, so I have to go back and me. Yeah, cb.mp3. All right. So the source, 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 and then src, src, like you would in images. So if you would, uh, cb.mp3. Okay. So what we're going to do there is we're just going to apply that. Okay. So as you see there, there's a change at the top here. And this is, well, basically, your player. So what you're going to do is going to preview this. All right. Open in browser. And there you see this. All right. So you have here your player. And this is now, this type of audio file isn't supported. Now, if somebody's actually trying to do this in Bootstrap Studio, um, you probably will get put off by that. But really, it's what that means is that it doesn't mean the browser doesn't support it. What it means is that the attached file that you want to go to isn't in the same folder, if you like. Okay, so here on um, audio controls, we just do a bit of styling to get that in the middle. Okay, so style equals margin left auto margin uh, margin right auto and we're going to put a display block in this okay so i just display and then block all right okay so apply that and now it's center okay um you can put things in like images um and what i would do there is look at me folder for which image i wanted which here would be cb.jpg the reason is i've tried this with bootstrap studio and i think there's um there's a little bit of difference it seems to go into the assets folder um, which is not really i might be wrong on that it's just i've done a few few things with this uh, a few tryouts and that's what's happened um but what you can do is you can do things like this 
on this uh, new version of Bootstrap Studio, I think this is 2.6. And they said to, to me that they're going to try and put it in WordDrop, and unfortunately they haven't. Um, I hope that's something that they're going to work on because I've uh, I've been on to them and they agree that it needs WordDrop because when you're trying to edit a lot of code, it's, it is it's difficult. Okay, so um, background, background dot image. And you don't have to put an image on here. You can just put a color if you want, background color. URL. Okay, and little speech marks. Oops, wrong one. And I'm going to put in cb.jpg. All right. So you won't be able to see that. I mean, you can import the image into there, but as I said, it seems to. It might be me. Um, I haven't had a great go at this, but uh, it, it does seem to go into the wrong folder when uh, when I do that. Anyway, so just again, apply this. Okay, and. If you preview that again, it'll just keep coming up as the same file not uh, not seen or whatever. Not it's not supported. Um, another thing here though is uh, this is what I think is quite cool. In this new version of Bootstrap Studio, it's got something with animations. Now, I don't like a lot of animations on websites. I think they detract from what you're supposed to be doing. But a little bit of touch, a little touch of style here and there, I think goes uh, goes really well. So I'm just going to put a hover under this, okay? And if you play that, there. Did you see that? I'll just put the. I don't know if you can see that, and you can. Uh, I'm trying for you to. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it does. It does work quite cool. That anyway. So basically, what we want to do now is just. Um, Export it and export it into that folder that I said, which is the media um, do, 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 media player. Okay, so you select the folder, export. Your design is exported, and so we go here, and we're going to try this out. Let's see if it works. Okay, well it hasn't um, it hasn't put the image right, but anyway, so you go. So can you hear that now? So there, the file is supported and it's working very good. All right. So that's uh, that's really cool. So you just there's got two two controls here by default. Uh, the all all the modern browsers support this thing. So you can knock the volume right down, or you can stop it and pause it. Um, as I said, I think there's a problem with the uh, pictures on that because that's coded right. So what I did is um, if I just refresh this. Okay, so just go to index. All right, and that should show up. Save index. And then just view it. Should work. Come on. Uh, let's do it this time. But yeah, this uh, it's Firefox. Okay. Not now. There you go. So that's what the image is. This is actually a Scorpions track, um, and this is the from the Scorpions album. So this is what it really looks like. So they can see the animation here. When you do that, okay, so I think that's pretty good. Um, so, but the main thing, of course, is you want the thing to play, oops, and then again, just knock that down. And let's just try the error rate really, some of this. Okay, so I hope, uh, I hope that's, I hope somebody's interested in that because I think these things are, are quite cool, quite an awesome thing. As uh, you, you can actually play playlists and stuff. And if you want something like this, I know I've got a friend who's, uh, who has a music website and um, he plays things from his, his site. And if you're someone like him or you just want to go track on your website, this is how you do it in HTML5. So, and it's supported really by all the major browsers these days, all the modern ones. Um, so again, thanks for your support and thanks for watching and listening.